Hey everybody, what's going on? This is John here with another episode of the Hero Academy. Thank you all for tuning in. Those of you that are on live right now, I appreciate you. And thank you for those of you that are watching on the replay and taking the time out for that. This week's episode is about documenting your accomplishments and giving yourself some uh, positive affirmations. Uh, this topic actually came to mind because I had been talking with and working with my one of my accountability partners and um, something came to the effect of where, you know, we were kind of talking about what we were supposed to do, what we wanted to do for the week and um, what we did not accomplish in the ways of the things that we had set, but then not really paying attention to all of the other things that we actually did accomplish which may not have been the original uh, 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 things that needed to be done, but they were still very um, necessary, they were still important, or they were even much more important in some ways. But because they weren't what we said, um, you know, there was, a, there was almost like a feeling of like a letdown or, or, or like, wow, you know, I really wanted to get this done. Or I really, I haven't, I haven't been able to put time towards this. And when I sat back and, you know, we were talking about it, I kind of, we kind of sat back and were like, you know, it's okay. Um, it's not like nothing was done, but there was there was things that, you know, you did this, I did this, and you did this, and I did that. And those things were integral to, you know, to other things that were just as important, if not more so, in other areas of our lives. And when we, when we think about our careers, when we think about our businesses, and we think about all the things that we, you know, want to achieve and we want to do um, from day to day or from week to week or even from month to month, a lot of times we'll plan it, we'll strategize and all that stuff and all that is good, but sometimes we don't have control over the day. And you know, it's it could be a it could be a series of just one event after another that that sets you back and sets you back because this stuff has to get done. These things, you know, kind of just popped up. This phone call just came in. Here's what's happening over here. And so you kind of, you know, put out these fires, you kind of take care of these things without being able to actually do what you set out to do for those time blocks, if you're using time blocks or for those tasks that you scheduled to do uh, or that you set, you set out to do when you started up your day. And that's okay. Now, the thing that I wanna make sure that we reiterate here and that we're gonna kinda go over with this list that I'm gonna go over is that we document those those things, those, those accomplishments. Maybe they're, however small that they may be, we definitely wanna document them and we wanna keep track of them and we wanna review them from time to time. I have, uh, hang on. I have a list here that I actually I'm going to give to you guys. It's going to be a PDF. Um, I have it over here to my side. I'm going to show it to you in just a little bit. But it's a, a weekly affirmations track uh, tracker, and it's really really cool. Um, it's super simple. Something that you're going to be able to easily download and easily you know use. You can print out um, uh, you know from week to week, and essentially it's just a couple of a couple of questions to make you reflect on you know the previous week and set up you know ways that you kind of identified. Hey, what was the biggest things you accomplished this week? What are some things that you want to try to accomplish the following week? And then you have have some areas for you to add in your own affirmations. I have some included into the form that you can remove and you can use your own, but um, you want to be able to, you want to, this is kind of like a really good exercise um, that you want to do, if not on a weekly basis, if not on a daily basis, um, because it'll, it'll energize you, it'll remind you how, how positive things are, how positive things, you know, or how, how, how progress, or positive progress that you're making, and it'll, you know, get you out of some slumps uh, when you need to, all right? So, with all that, let me jump into the first thing, uh, first reason why that this is important. Uh, you want to document the fires that you're putting out. I know I mentioned that a little bit ago, but um, if, if you're like me, um, you know, I've got so many things that are happening during the day and during, you know, because of work and kids and life and family and friends and uh, uh, networking, whatever that it is, right? Um, more times than not, because of all the clients that we support, um, not everything that I plan to do of that day gets done because sometimes I'll have some fires that are being, you know, that have, that have, that have come up from, from a, a various client that need to be addressed. And those fires may need to be addressed within the hour, within the day, or within the next couple of days. It all depends on how big that fire is. Um, so micro fires are okay, but if we've talked about before in some previous episodes where we talked about how, you know, keeping attention or being able to stay focused and things like that, these types of fires, when they come up, they totally take your focus away. They take your motivation away. They take your energy away. And it's like everything is now shifted to this because this is, you know, this is a fire. We've got to do something about this. We've got to, you know, assess it. We've got to understand where it came from and all the stuff that comes with that, all the stress and whatever that comes with that. But what we don't do a lot of times, or at least to say for me, what I don't do a lot of times is document that this fire came up. Um, and so when at the end of the week, when I think about what I did and didn't do, uh, sometimes, and maybe even more times than not, I'm thinking about the things that I didn't accomplish, but I forget 
that, hey, this happened on Tuesday and this took me out for, you know, took my productivity time and set, set back my time boxes for several hours. And although, I, you know, although it did that, I made the client super happy because, you know, they were able to do this and we were able to save them, you know, X amount of money in sales or uh, we're able to, you know, help make sure that this product launched um, at the right time or uh, their event was successful or, you know, they were able to get these deliverables um, sooner than expected because they needed, you know, this, this, whatever it was, sense of urgency came up. And that was something that I should, you know, pat myself on the back about or I should acknowledge and I definitely should document right? Because it's a big deal. Um, even if it wasn't part of, you know, the original list, it was still something that had to be addressed and I was able to address it. And then if anything, I may be able to, um, if we want to look at, you know, standards and processes, I may be able to go back and say, okay, if the, is this something that I've seen before? Um, is this something that I could have avoided? Can I, uh, you know, should I create a, a process around this just in case that it happens again and I'm not available, somebody behind me can go ahead and, and, and take care of this using these same steps that I did. Um, do I need to document this so that way I can also give it back to the client so that way they know, hey, if you ever see this, this, and that, know that this is what's going to happen as a result. And so here's ways that you can avoid that. Here's, how, here's ways that we can kind of hedge that in the future. Um, all of those are great, you know, are great uh, benefits to documenting these fires when they happen. Because again, you know, we never essentially plan for these fires, but if we're able to identify them after we've experienced one of them, identify something else that's similar, you're gonna be so much better for it, right? The next thing is to, uh, when we think about documenting our, our accomplishments, um, they don't always have to be public, but they definitely should be, in some cases, they should be public. Some things could be where, you know, in, our, in, our, in my example, for example, we may have just launched a new client website. Well, that's great. Um, we can create, you know, a quick little graphic, post that on Instagram with a link or maybe some information about what we did for that project and not necessarily tooting our own horn, um, but we can say this is, this is the complexity level, you know, was, was seven out of 10 and uh, the timeline was this and we were able to finish it in this amount of time. And now because this website is up, this business is able to service a certain industry and be able to provide information, provide products, provide services in a way that this, you know, these, uh, these, uh, uh, potential clients didn't have available before or speed up the process on whatever that wasn't there before, right? And so it's a, it's a great benefit to everybody that, that gets a chance to read it. And it's also something to, to let your clients or potential clients know, hey, you're producing work, you know, you're doing things, these things are happening and that's awesome. Um, and so publicly putting out your accomplishments could be a really, really good thing. Not saying you have to put everything, just because you got the laundry done today and, and, and got it in and out of the wash and in and out of the dryer and then folded and hung and, and ironed. Maybe we don't need to know all of those things, but something along those lines for you personally to at least document that and say, wow, I was able to do all of this in this day. Um, it'll go back. If you go back and look at what did you plan for your day? Did you time box your day? And was this something that was additional? Hey, now I know on these days of the week, I actually have a little bit more productivity or a little bit more uh, leeway in terms of time that I can get laundry done. Um, I can get this, these extra tasks done while I have all these other things to do as well. Who knows? Um, everybody's going to be a little different, so this is this you know this this could definitely work for you. But nonetheless, um, think about ways that you can be public about those things because it gives you some accountability. But it also you know lets you know potential uh, customers know or potential clients know as well as your existing customers know. It's like oh wow this is they're 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 doing stuff they're producing and that's great. Everybody wants to be able to do that, and then you'll see you know some praise come to you as well for that, and that's that's awesome. The next thing I would say is to um, document and review your results of your progress. Um, especially for those of you that are out there that have uh, uh, projects that are, you know, that have milestones, um, document the progress and document the results and see about, and when you document those, and sometimes those are easier to do at the end of the day, maybe not when you have a bunch of tasks still yet to do, because it'll be, it'll, it won't be as productive to sit, just to, to kind of take away time from those things to do that. But if you have some downtime, maybe at the end of the night, on a Sunday, end of the day, whatever, whatever time that you make to do this, um, by going back and looking at the results of your, of, uh, the results of what, what you've done to this point or at the end of the project or the progress of what you've gotten to at this certain milestone, um, documenting that, you know, and seeing, it's like, okay, well, I said I was going to do it in, with these steps, but I actually ended up doing it in these steps. And now, next time going forward, same type of project, 
I'm going to do it this way, or I'm going to teach the, uh, my team to do it this way. Or uh, maybe the team came back and with what you, you may have created a, a, a step-by-step process to do this, to get to this milestone, team came back and said, uh, oh, you know what? We were able to do this in this amount of time. We used this amount of resources and uh, ended up being you know faster or more efficient than what you had put out. So next time we could do it the same way you know, uh, with less amount of this or with less amount of that or this amount of time. Um, all of those are great things to document along the process, along the progress. More times than not, for a lot of these things that we're talking about, we get so involved in doing the things that we don't actually sit back to identify, you know, and 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 take appreciation for where we are and maybe ways that we uh, were able to uh, make it more efficient. And so, um, document your results, um, review, document and review your results, um, but definitely, you know, do that as well as with your progress. Now, I said this a little bit ago as well, but you certainly want to count the little things. Um, while they may not be significant enough for you to make public no, uh, notice, um, but you should definitely find ways to, or, you know, to, have, uh, to give yourself some, af- some positive affirmations about some of those little things you accomplished because those little things left unnoticed, chances are could potentially cause a, excuse me, could po- cause a fire later on. And so uh, we definitely want to make sure that we uh, take some time out to di- to identify those little things and count them. Um, if you don't want to document, that's that's one thing. But at least identify those things because, and also see, hey, what would this have done if I didn't do this at this at this juncture? If I would have done this later, would this cost me more? Would this take more time? Um, did I save you know Did I save so much by 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 doing this? Right. Uh, the next thing would be is. Um, when we, when we think about documenting uh, and, and counting these little things, um, I, I, I would I definitely want to uh, uh, reiterate is that it's not a sense of, of bragging, um, but it's also a great way to look at uh, building your resume. Um, I recently have been uh, commissioned to do uh, some other speaking engagements that I'm excited about, and I'll talk about those in, a, in, in another episode. But um, twice, uh, this is probably the second time now that I've been asked for a resume. And I thought to myself, when I first got asked for this, I said, why, why, why would you need a resume? You know, um, And I'm not necessarily, and, and I'm not you know, a public speaker, and I haven't been in that domain in that, in that way professionally, um, you know, as other public speakers are. And so this was, this was new to me. And so when I went to go look this up and I was like, oh, wow, I didn't realize that, you know, you have to have a resume for this and you have to, you know, showcase no, no different than a little different, but it's similar to like, you know, a job resume if you were going to go reach out for, for a new position um, in the same way that this is good uh, might be having this, uh, these documents of, you know, of, of progress and results so that when I do sit down to do this resume, um, I can go back and however that I've cataloged these things, I can go back and say, oh yeah, I forgot this project at this date, we were able to do it in this amount of time and this happened this way and whatnot. Um, however that we can document that, but it's going to be easier for us to go back and recall those accomplishments because we've documented them, right? And so when we have to create this resume, whether it be for a new job or for a new position or for uh, you know some kind of organization that needs to see uh, you know a, a body of work from you, you're going to be able to to tailor that specifically to what they need. And again, just like a resume for going for a job, you're going to tailor that resume specifically for what the job uh, uh, aspects are, what they what the requ- requisites are for that job. No different is it going to be for this resume that you're going to need for yourself. Um, you know, for 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 how that's you know for how they're asking you for your body of work. And like I said, you're going to be able to you know use some intricate details about what you did, how you problem solved this, um, what steps were created, maybe a method that you were able to create out of it. Um, all of those are great things that are easier to pull when you've already documented it than it is for you to kind of pull on the spot when you're thinking about it because it needs to be done you know over the next couple of days or, over, or, or within the next day or two for you to submit. Okay? All right, so I've got two more things for you guys. Um, the next thing is probably a bigger one, um, and, and this is probably what kind of uh, sparked the, the, this, this topic, is it can help to bring you out of a productivity slump. Now, um, again, I use myself as an example. I can't tell you how many times a day, a week, a month, and a year that I go through productivity slumps, and a lot of that is a whole other episode that we can kind of get into, right? However, um, when you've got these things documented, it's almost like a bit of a journal, if you will, to kind of go back and kind of read through. It's like, oh yeah, I was, I felt this way before. 
um, you know, a few months ago? What did I do at the time to uh, to get through that? Oh, okay, I, I this was the project I was working on, and it was it was this it was it was this you know it, the mountain was this big, and you know it it was just a couple of days, or it was just a day, and on the other side of that day. It was great, you know, I was great. I was coming down the mountain and I was able to accomplish that and I felt great. Um, and then, you know, how did it make me feel like all of those things I can go back and read. And at least for myself to read back on those things, it's highly encouraging and it's great for boosting you in terms of, uh, in terms of your productivity, right? Because like I said, when you get in that slump, sometimes you just feel like, ah, oh, I've, I've, I've been doing the same thing over and over again or I've, I'm in this rut or I don't know how to, you know, find some motivation to be productive, um, you've got that and you wouldn't be where you are today without a whole body of, uh, of examples and mountains that you've climbed and not to say that your biggest mountain you've, you've already climbed every mountain that we kind of come across in our careers, um, will always seem as the biggest one. But once we get over it, we kind of go back and look at it and say, Oh, okay. I see how I got over that. I see what I did. And it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. And I, you know, I was able to accomplish that with the help of this or with the help of this person or whatever, or over, over a certain period of time, I was able to accomplish that. And I feel great because of it. And that should be something that helps to remind you, Hey, I can do, I can do this as well. This new mountain that's in front of me seems just as daunting, just as big as the last one. But I did that last one. I was able to accomplish that. So I can do this one too. And maybe I need to go back and look at the tools or the resources and things that I had on the previous time to get me through this time. Okay. So keep that in mind. Another good reason to document, um, you know, you're at it and, 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 and hold some affirmations here. Now, the last thing is, um, is that by creating a doc or creating some documents or creating, you know, a, a way of, of, of tracking this stuff, um, your accomplishments is, uh, it'll be great for keeping you motivated. Um, maybe this is something that you do, especially if you want to review this document, um, that I'm going to show you just here in just a second. Um, it may be something that you do at the end of the week. Maybe you review this at the end of the day. Um, there's all types of productivity journals that are out there. And when I first started to see them, I kind of was like, eh, I don't have time for that. I got all this stuff I've got to do. But in reality, it actually is so, so beneficial to sit down and, and write these things and actually take some time and dive into these things. And to not say that you're writing down, you know, a whole, you know, uh, a whole uh, three, four, five pages of, 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 of thoughts, um, or you are, no, no judgment either way, but it's just, it's just to, to kind of get at least the highlights of things that you need to document so that way you remember when you need to recall where you were at this time, you know, several months from now, several weeks from now, several days from now. Um, and when it comes to being motivated, I can't tell you how many times that, you know, just like get, getting into a slump, that there's slumps for lack of motivation, you know, because we're tired, uh, the kids are this, uh, there's too many projects up, uh, I've got a list, a laundry list long of different tasks that I've got to do that I didn't finish from yesterday that I got to do, fires are coming up that I've got to, I've got to address and da 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 all that stuff, right? By, able, by being able to go back and keep tracking or keep a track record of your accomplishments, um, it will help you to stay motivated because it'll remind you of the things that you were able to accomplish, you know, yourself, with your team, um, with your with your colleagues, and it'll remind you that yes, you can do it. You know, this is nothing new. And also somebody else has, has been through your shoes and if not is is in is in you know deeper than you are and they've pulled through it as well. So um, by all means, you know, document those things, it'll help you keep them motivated and get you out of the slump. Now before I go, I want to show you this document really quick that I created. I'm going to upload the link here um, in the Hero Academy group. And for those of you that are watching on the replay, it'll be up in the file section. And for those of you watching on YouTube, it'll be uh, in the link description so that way you can download that as well. Um, like I said, it's a pretty quick document. Uh, this is it here, um, if you can see some of it. Uh, it's just a couple of questions that you're going to fill out. It really, um, I thought, is, is, and you can add to this as much as you need to, but essentially it just starts off with saying, you know, how do you, I rate, you know, I rate this week uh, one through, or I rate this, you know, this past week a one through a hundred. So was your week a hundred? Was it a 90? Uh, was it a 40? Uh, whatever that it was, right? And so um, put the date on there. And then my best day of the week was, and you could just circle Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or all of the days, you know, whatever days were your best, kind of circle those. It's great to go back and track that. The next thing that's gonna happen on here is um, you're gonna take a moment to reflect on your previous week's affirmations. Um, 
So like I said, because it's weekly, um, most of this you're not going to do the first week, but you're really going to go skip to the bottom of this. And then as you go on, you'll be able to go, uh, you'll be able to do it for as well. Um, I, got a, I got a note here saying that it should be something added onto the website. We could definitely do that. We can definitely add it up there if you want to use that as well. Uh, we'll, we'll add that up as well. Um, and then, like I said, you, you, can, you can download it too. Whatever's easier for you guys, we'll, we'll definitely make it happen. Um, one thing that I think is, is really important to, 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 to key in on is to, um, one of the items here says the toughest thing I did this, uh, last week was what, um, more times than not, we don't, like I said, we don't, we don't really think about these, these, these mountains that we may have, or these bigger fires that we may have accomplished or got through or extinguished. And so to document that is, is really, really helpful, especially if we got to go back and look at it later, like we said earlier, right? Um, next is, uh, I'm proud of these accomplishments because... Uh, or I'm proud of these, or these affirmations make me feel a certain way, write down, write those down. Um, and then there's a list of three affirmations that I, that I put in here that you can read out, say out loud. Um, you can use these or you can write in your own and then say those out loud at the end of the week or when you're reviewing your document, say those, affirm and you can write more, I just have three, but say those things out loud, um, not just in your head, uh, but you know, not using your internal voice, but use your external voice and say them out loud, maybe in a mirror, maybe in the morning before you go to bed or before when you wake up. Um, these are key and these can change. So from week to week, if you have different ones, change them, add new ones, however that you feel. And then the next, uh, the last part of this is to write down um, three affirmations for the following week. And then that's what starts at the beginning of this is to reflect back on, you know, your previous week's aff affirmations, right? So all of this will be on um, in, this for in this form here. Uh, we'll probably add it to the website as well, but you'll be able to download this uh, within the Hero Academy uh, within, uh, I would say within the hour. Uh, that's all I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.